the pay-as-you-go model has helped power the explosive growth in Africa's mobile phone market. UK company Azuri Technologies hopes it can do the same for renewable energy, putting solar electricity within reach of even the poorest communities. Domestic solar systems can charge several lamps and mobile phones with a single small panel. But at around $70 each, the units are still beyond the means of the households that need them most. Azuri Technologies has commercialized a system called Indigo, which allows users to spread the cost of domestic solar with phone-style scratch card payments. Anne Weldon has come to Kenya to see Azuri's work in action and assess its application for the Ashton Awards for Sustainable Energy. We look at the quality of the technology that they use. We look at the actual financial model of the organisation. We try to talk to people that are benefiting and get their different viewpoints on what the, the work is really achieving. Would we just have a look at it on here? Sure, so sure, sure. Edward sure. Namasaka is manager of Mibawa, Azuri's distribution partner in Kenya. We usually mount this on top of the roof. Yes. Then from the unit, we can be able to light two lamps. Very neat. Then from this, you can also be able to charge your phone using this, and you look for the charger for the type of your phone. It's a good idea having all these together, yeah. these things, they're so easy to lose. The Indigo box contains a battery which stores electricity for nighttime use. It also controls the flow of power so that the lights and phone charger only work if an activation code is entered. Passcodes to unlock the systems for a week at a time can be bought in the form of scratch cards, available at the same small kiosks that have sprung up to sell phone cards. Our customers do not live in one particular area. So we realize that uh, the best way of assisting these customers is to have the scratch cards as near uh, to them as possible. This is one center where I sell scratch cards. Okay, Indigo. So that's seven days. Yeah, for seven days. And that's the 120. The 120. Yes. A single card unlocks the system for one week for a cost of one and a half dollars. After around 18 months of weekly payment, customers can choose to pay an additional fee and unlock the unit for good or upgrade to a more powerful system. What do you most appreciate having one yourself? One, yes. is the cost. Yes. Two, it doesn't fail. Yes. And three, it's able to charge our mobile phones. Imagine if you have in the family about uh, three phones. That is 30 shillings on a daily basis or two. So it has been so effective. As chief of Kaplamai district, Francis Kimeli Morogo has encouraged his neighbours to follow his lead in adopting Indigo, partly to improve their health. Yeah, they were using firewood for lighting, sometimes diesel, not even kerosene. Those diesel uh, small lamps actually smoke so much. We've just come into the village of Coquette and the chief we spoke to earlier, his house is here and what we're going to do is meet with his neighbours. Azuri says pay-as-you-go solar saves customers around 50% on their weekly bills for kerosene lighting and phone charging. My children's future will be very bright because now they have time to read. I've also put a light in their bedroom so they can continue studying in there. Driven by huge demand, Azuri is stepping up production and expanding the scheme into Zambia, Malawi, South Sudan and several other African countries. And could you ask, are there more people around here who would like to get one? We are so happy about it. We think it's really important to look at delivery, to look at the business model of the organisation, to look at the finance of the organisation, because it's only through doing that that we can really understand whether this is going to go on achieving into the future.